here at Friends here, we're going to be drawing a Halloween folding surprise. Yeah, when it's folded up, it'll look like a tombstone, and then when you open it, it looks like the skeleton is popping out of the grave. Yes. We hope you're going to follow along. It'll be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker. You also need... Some paper and something to color with. Yeah. You ready to just start? Yes. We have our marker paper. We're going to start by folding it first. Now, these are the same steps that we always do with our folding surprise drawing. So, if you know these steps, you can go ahead and fast forward to where we start drawing. So first, fold it right in the middle and out to the edges. Then we'll take this top flap and line it up with the top edge and fold it down and out to the corners also. Then let's flip it over and repeat that same step. We're going to take the top flap, line it up with the top edge, Crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Nice. Now this last fold, we're going to unfold. It's just a guide for when we're drawing. Once you flatten it out, you can flip it back over. Then we have some red scratch paper we're going to put underneath our drawing paper. This is just to protect our table when we're drawing. Now we're ready to use our markers. We're first going to draw the ground. And let's start right here in the middle of our paper and we're going to draw a curve that comes over and then crosses over the fold and out to the edge of the paper. This is kind of the mound that our tombstone will be on. Then we're going to start on this side and do the same thing. We'll draw a curve that comes over the fold and out to the edge. Now let's draw the tombstone. We're going to draw two lines coming out of the ground. I'm going to draw it a little taller. And you can even change the shape of the tombstone if you wanted to. We're going to draw two short lines coming in. You could just draw it straight across. You could draw a curve. Let's draw an upside down U to connect those two lines. Now let's add a border around our tombstone. I'm just going to repeat the same shape to create this little border going around. And you could add more things to your tombstone. Oh, I'm going to add the word rip. <laughs> Rest in peace, right? Yes. We're going to draw R-I-P. Oh, let's add a little skull up here at the top. I'm going to draw two dots for the eyes. Then let's draw a circle that goes around, but it doesn't connect at the bottom. We're going to leave a little gap at the bottom. And then we can draw the teeth. We'll go down, over, and up. There's our little skull. It looks <laughs> awesome. Let's add cracks. I'm going to draw a zigzag line coming across maybe the bottom and also the top. We could add one more. I'm going to draw another. One coming down here, and maybe there's a little crack coming off of this first one. Okay, now let's add grass. We're going to draw long grass, maybe or a weed sticking out on the side, and maybe one on this side too, a longer weed. Ooh, we could even draw some moss. I'm going to draw a little bumpy line going across the top. Or it could be slime. <laughs> <laughs> let's add rocks. I'm going to add a little curve right here, or a circle. We could even add, maybe there's a rock over here on this side. And some little rocks down here in the grass, on the ground. You could add more rocks. You could add spiders. You could add spider webs or even bats. You could add a lot of extra details. That would be really cool. Yeah, let's leave it just like this though. And let's open up our paper or unfold it and flatten it out. We have the tombstone up here at the top and some of the ground down here. Let's complete the grass up here at the top. So the skeleton's exploding out of the grave. Let's add grass or the zigzag line from the left side over to the right side. And some of the zigzags could be big and some small, but we want to connect up to the other side. Now let's add that same zigzag down here at the bottom. So we're going to start on this side. And we'll add small zigzags and big ones. This is where the grass kind of ripped apart. Now we're ready to add the skeleton coming out of the grave. We're going to add the nose first. Let's draw an upside down V right in the middle. 
but below the tombstone. And then we can complete that by drawing a little curve at the bottom. And we could even color in that triangle. Now let's draw the eyes. We can draw a circle over here on the left and the same size circle over here on the right. And let's color in those eyes too. Anytime we go too fast or if we speed up the video, what can our art friends do? Pause it. Yeah, you guys can pause the video to take extra time to finish any of the steps. Okay, now let's draw the outside shape of our skull. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and underneath the eye, we're gonna curve under. And let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll come down, curve around. That's a big skull. <laughs> yeah. Now let's add the teeth. This time, instead of drawing it like this, let's add U-shapes connected together all the way over to the other side. I'm going to make these eyes a little bigger. We can also add a curve like this to make them look more 3D. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. I'm gonna make this one bigger too. And on this side, I'm gonna draw the curve on the opposite side. <laughs> it kind of looks cross-eyed. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and you could add eyelashes if you want. Let's add cracks. Hadley would definitely add eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> we could also add, maybe there's another crack going down this way. And I'm gonna add a crack on this side too. Oh, we could also add dirt. Let's add a bumpy cloud line coming down from the grass and connecting to the skull. Let's do the same thing on the right side. <laughs> He's looking awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw the body. We're gonna start here and draw a letter U underneath the mouth. Nice. Then we can draw the bottom of our skeleton and also the ribs. Let's draw a curve or rainbow line that goes across. And then let's draw the sternum. We're going to draw two lines right down the middle. And more lines on the left side for the ribs. And also on the right side. <laughs> this might be my new favorite Halloween lesson. <laughs> Let's color in this shape right here. And also add two ovals on this bottom part. This is for the hips. Yes, yeah, so let's color it in. What should we draw next? The arms. Yeah, let's do it. Let's draw two lines coming out to the left. This is for the top part of the arm. Let's draw two bumps at the end to connect those two lines together. Now let's draw two lines coming up. We're gonna make our skeleton look like he's trying to scare somebody or he's trying to get someone. Let's repeat that same step. We're gonna draw two bumps to end the bone. And then let's draw the hand. We'll draw an upside down U first. That's for the palm. Then we can draw a short upside down U for the thumb. And then let's draw three longer upside down U's for the fingers. You could add an extra finger if you want. Well, four fingers. Sometimes I like just adding three. Yeah. <laughs> then we can draw a line right in the middle to separate the bones in the fingers. Cool, we got one arm. Let's repeat that same step for the right side. We can draw two lines coming out for the first part of the arm. And then two bumps for the end of the bone. And this one I'm going to aim a little bit different, but it'll still go up. So two lines, and then we'll draw two bumps for the end of the bone. Then let's draw the palm, or upside down U. Then we could draw the thumb, short upside down U. I'm going to add another finger. <laughs> One more. There we go. <laughs> now it has five fingers. 
But I think sometimes on cartoons, they just draw three fingers and a thumb, so yeah. four fingers, but that's all right. You can do whatever you want, right? Yes. The most important thing is have fun and to practice. Practice. <laughs> Remember to have fun and practice. Okay, I need to draw one more finger for four, and then let's draw that extra line right in the middle to separate the bones. Awesome, now let's draw the legs. I'm gonna draw one leg coming up, almost like he's stepping out of the grave. So we're gonna draw the knee up high. Let's draw two lines coming out. Then let's draw those two bumps, just like we did for the arm. And then let's draw the two lines coming down for the rest of the leg. And then let's draw two bumps right there. And we can also add maybe just two lines for the foot going into the grass. Now let's draw the other leg and we're gonna draw it coming down. It's further in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then the two bumps for the end of the bone. And then this one, we're just gonna draw two lines for the rest of the leg going into the ground. What else should we add? More dirt. Oh yeah, we have dirt up here on the head. Let's add it down here on the ground. I'm gonna draw a bumpy line behind our skeleton legs. Well, maybe there's a little dirt over here too. And maybe we could draw some dirt flying out of the ground. We're gonna draw a cloud line right here. Let's add dirt over here too. And we need more rocks. Maybe there's some rocks flying up in the air. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's exploding out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you could add even more stuff. You could add more bats. Maybe if you have a bat up here, you could add bats inside of the folding surprise. You could add candy. What else could they add? You could add pumpkins or even a black cat. Oh, that would be really cool. I think this looks awesome. What should we do next? Color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end you could pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Check, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our Halloween folding surprise. Turned out awesome. Yeah. But let's show our friends the inside. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were gonna say, I, I, I should have said something. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it looks all colored in. Now you could color it the same way we did. We just used three colors. Well, I have an extra brown, a dark brown. But if you have the same markers, we used Y529 for the dirt. What's the green color or the grass? Uh, G406. Yeah, and then our gray. C CG? CG03. Yeah, CG03. That's a light gray that we use for the tombstone and also the shading around the skeleton. But you could color it any way you want. Yeah, and you could also use different materials like colored pencils or even crayons. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your skeleton folding surprise. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun following along with us and we hope you take extra time to add more things to your drawing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. You okay. say something this time. <laughs> one, three. Oh, three, two, one. one. <laughs>